Simply right click on the system tray icon and select the show option and the student interface will appear on the screen. Alternatively you can select the study student option from the programs menu. The view you see here is the minimized view of the student interface. The bottom orange area will inform you of any activity and status changes as the lesson progresses. You can alter the volume using the slider and optionally mute all audio or just the microphone to cut out distracting class noise. Pressing call will make a request to the teacher for help or alternatively you can add a message to your help request. When activated by the teacher, the chat area will open and you can create an MSN type environment within your class. The player and files area will be explained in detail during the rest of this presentation. The session files area includes material added by the teacher for that lesson. The My Files area displays the contents of your own work contained in the Study Files area of your My Documents folder. If the teacher selects one or more files to be handed out, then the homework area activates. You can then double click on the file and save a copy for homework purposes. When requested, a homework window appears which allows you to browse for a file and then send it to the teacher for marking or assessment. The easiest way to use Study 1200 is to simply record your own voice. Clicking the red icon begins recording and the bottom triangle turns red along with a real time counter. Click pause or stop to end recording. Use the save icon to select the folder or drive and decide what format to save. The default is of course MP3, but other options are WAV, WMA and the Sanico MFF format which will be explained later. Type a name and save. The default save path is to the study files area in your My Documents folder. This file can then be taken away on say a pen stick, emailed home or perhaps added to your phone or iPod. Listening to audio or video files is perhaps one of the most common ways for you to learn a language. To do this, simply open a file. You can either open and browse or double click on a file from a file area. Once opened, the file name is displayed along with the total file length. Press play to start playback and pause at any time. J'ai un frère. J'ai deux frères et deux sœurs. Je n'ai pas de frères et de sœurs. Je suis fille unique. Pressing stop ends playback and resets the counter to zero, just as per iTunes and Windows Media Player. And as with any modern media player, there are no rewind and fast forward icons you simply drag the slider to any point in time. When listening to a file, you can set bookmarks, as many as you need. J'ai un frère. J'ai deux frères et deux sœurs. Je n'ai pas de frères et de sœurs. Je suis fille unique. Pressing the bookmark takes you to that point in the file immediately, over and over again if required. Je n'ai pas de frères et de sœurs. Je n'ai pas de frères et de sœurs. Bookmarks can be deleted using remove. Or by right clicking on the bookmark, you can give each one a name. Pressing recap will play back the last part of any recording. Je suis fille unique. Je suis fille unique. To listen to one section again and again, you can move the right and left arrows and select repeat. 
Pressing play will then loop this section indefinitely. Je n'ai pas de frères et de sœurs. Je n'ai pas de frères et de sœurs. Many audio activities make use of a technique known as listen and repeat. In this example, we will open a file called Ecoute et Repete. Instead of simply using play, we can select speak and record our own versions of the model phrases. Comment tu t'appelles? Comment tu t'appelles? Je m'appelle Bernard. Je m'appelle Bernard. When we play this back, we will hear both the original audio and your own recording. In many ways, this method can be thought of as karaoke for language learning, with two tracks being recorded. If you move the slider to the bottom and play, then you only hear your recording. Comment tu t'appelles? Je m'appelle Bernard. Moving the slider to the top means that you will only hear the original clips. Comment tu t'appelles? Je m'appelle Bernard. You can then vary the volume between the tracks by moving the slider somewhere between the two. For example, someone with a quiet recording voice may move the slider nearer to the bottom. Simply save your effort if required and decide upon whether to save both tracks or not. If you have set any bookmarks and wish to keep them, then you will need to save the file as a Sanico MFF format. One option you can use when recording your voice into gaps is to change the display to a graphical view using the Tools Settings Audiograph option. This can help you to visualize how long you have to speak between the clips. The final and perhaps the most powerful feature is known as Voice Insert. To demonstrate this feature I will open the Personal Relations file. Playing this file we can hear that it is simply a set of oral questions with little or no gap between them for you to record into. Comment t'appelles tu? Tu à quel âge? Tu habites où? Select voice insert and the mode is